Welcome to the presentation of the 2018-2019 calendar survey results and the unveiling of the superintendent's recommended calendar for the 2018-2019 school year. 30 individuals participated in this year's calendar committee, which met on October 12th. The committee was comprised of teachers, school and county level administrators, and parent and student representatives. The committee was divided into two subcommittees, each with a specific focus. The frequent flyers sought to have lengthier or more frequent breaks for those wishing to travel during the school year. The surfers sought to create a calendar option with minimal breaks with the purpose of having an earlier last day of school. Both options were presented to the board at its November board meeting. Following the board meeting in November, a survey was conducted to gather feedback from all stakeholders regarding the proposed calendar options. The survey window began on December 4th and lasted through Thursday, December 21st. The survey was conducted online and was publicized using our website, social media tools, and our school messenger notification system. The survey received 896 responses. Respondents were once again comprised mainly of parents and employees, which accounted for 96% of responses. 2% of responses came from students and bus contractors, and less than 1% identifying themselves as community members. Once again, this year's survey had great diversity in the regions responding. As is customary, North End schools, which are more populous, had the greatest turnout for respondents. Results from the survey indicate a clear majority of respondents preferring calendar number one, or the frequent flyers calendar. This calendar received 500 votes, or 55.8% of the total votes received. Calendar number two, or the surfers, received 396 votes, or 44.2% of the total vote. As you can see from the call-out percentages at the left, employees clearly preferred the frequent flyer calendar with 68% of the vote, while parents and community members were nearly split on the proposed options. Respondents were also given the option to leave additional feedback through an open-ended question. 106 written responses were received, which have been analyzed and categorized in the shown categories. First, those giving general comments on the calendar options provided, the majority of whom questioned the need for a vote when the calendar options were so similar. There was varying feedback on the integration of half days for professional development, and of course the requests for lengthier winter and spring breaks. While this feedback is taken into account, our calendar is bound by the Governor's Executive Order, state and federally mandated holidays, and contractually mandated closures for students, limiting the amount of flexibility available in crafting viable calendar options. Incorporating all of the survey and open-ended feedback, the superintendent has recommended the adoption of calendar proposal number one, or the frequent flyers calendar, with slight modification. Highlights of the proposed calendar include a first day of school for students on September 5th, winter break begins with a half day for students on Friday, December 21st, followed by a closure from December 24th through January 1st. Spring break also begins with a half day for students on April 18th, followed by state mandated closures on Friday, April 19th and Monday, April 22nd. As always, the last day of school is contingent on whether or not the three inclement weather days built into the calendar are utilized. In the 2018-2019 calendar, the tentative last day of school is June 13, 2019. Upon approval, the final 2018-2019 calendar adopted by the Board of Education will be posted to our website www.worcesterk12.org. Thank you.